We gathered here in Amsterdam uh, to discuss the promises, realities, and disappointments in applied AI. Two external speakers, seven pitches that our colleagues made who traveled here from Romania and Serbia. And we have uh, 25 participants here in Amsterdam, and we have seven colleagues from Ukraine who are attending the event online. How can we use AI to enhance our workflows and to improve the way that we build stuff. So how can AI help us code, for example, or generate building blocks that we can use at clients? That's really cool to see that the developers here at Levi9 are really uh, knowledgeable about that and exploring what is possible. How can we be more efficient? How can this help our customers? AI will be able to solve some uh, common problems very easily. You should get creative and then by getting creative, you will get uh, something that's, that's different, something that's, that's interesting for people to digest. The future, <laughs> it can go either way. There's a lot of efforts to create new rules and regulations. A lot of companies who are thinking about creating AI governance practices and things like that. I personally think it's a bit grim, but that everything that can happen will probably happen. So there will be all sorts of cool, interesting upsides, but probably also all sorts of downsides that we'll uh, get into in the upcoming years. But it's exciting from a technical perspective. It's super exciting to see. So I'm looking forward to uh, learning what will be next. AI in the near future won't replace any of the jobs, but the people who know how to deal with AI will replace the people who don't. Developments go so fast that basically any rule or regulation or governance uh, policy uh, that you implement will always be lagging behind. So it's also about what happens beyond these formal decision-making processes. It's also about how people use it and whether they're still using their own common sense. Yeah. It was quite fun to learn uh, the ethical aspects of AI and uh, what are the pros and what are the cons of using uh, AI and to what extent we have to use uh, AI and we had those sort of things and it was quite interesting and there were nice questions from the audience as well so it was good. Yeah. <laughs>